Hi friends, uh, we are going to cover uh, authentication, authorization and public page in this uh, session. Authentication is the way you log in to Oracle Application Express that is the authentication and authorization is uh, for a particular resource like for a particular page if you want to uh, create some access control so you can do so by creating authorization by default in our application uh, <coughs> in our application we have uh, the authentication as if we go to uh, as uh, Oracle Application Express authentication, if we go to application properties and if we go to security, there you can see the uh, uh, authentication is Application Express authentication. So we have to give the Application Express username password to log into the application. Now we can have a custom authentication where we have a custom function which will do the authentication suppose we have a users table we will uh, we will query the user table to see whether the user who is trying to log in is a valid user so let's uh, go to SQL workshop we'll say okay now we have a user table we'll create this table users table where we have the user id password and is admin so we will create the table table created now we'll insert two rows into that table The first row is for admin user so the username is admin and password is admin123 a capital and is admin is y for admin and the next user is Shubrata and the is admin is n for that user so let me first insert this record one row insert it Okay, one row insert. So now we have a util we have a authentication function authenticate user which accepts two parameter p username and p password and we validate the username password with the user table and if the username password exists in user table we return true else we return false. So we'll create this function. Okay, function created. Now in your in our application express, in our application express, in our application we go to the shared components. In the authentication schema, we'll create an authentication schema. We'll give it a name of custom. One second. Shared components under authentication schemes. 
we create an authentication scheme next we give it a name as custom and scheme type should be custom so here it will ask for the authentication function name so we will give uh, this function which we created for authentication as the function name authentication now in your in our application properties we'll set in our application properties to go to security and the authentication scheme is changed to custom that's fine so now we have our application with custom authentication now suppose if we want to run our application Apex demo, and if we want to run our application, we have to log out actually. Yeah, we are already logged in, so that's why. So now, if we run our application, last part. Now, if I try to log in with Apex username password, it will not work because we have changed the authentication scheme. Invalid login login credentials. So we have to give the admin and admin one two three. We log in. There you go. We are logged in. Next is authorization. So we will create an authorization scheme. So authorization scheme. We'll create authorization scheme from scratch and name it custom authorization. Custom authorization. We'll say PLCPL function returning boolean and in the function body we'll write this. Basically, we are selecting the is admin from user table where user ID is the logged in user. If is admin is Y, then we are returning true, else we are returning false. So we create this authorization screen. Okay, we have uh, we have to give a message you. So our custom authorization is created now in our application say for the reports page or for the tree page we give our authorization as our custom authorization page requires authentication and region session authorization scheme now is empty we'll give the custom authorization save this record now we will run our application run our application we are logged in as admin user so we can view the tree page but if you see the subrata subrata user doesn't have the is admin set to y so log, let's log in as subrata Now if we try to access the tree page, we'll give we'll get an error, you are not an admin. So that is how the authorization is working in our schema. So and the next thing is a page is a, a public page. So in the tree, let's make this page a public page. So Yes, authorization schema. Let's select. Go out of page is public. Save, 
and if you run this page it will always work so if you log out if you sign out no need to sign in we'll just run this page as the page is public everyone can view it without logging in you see nobody so nobody has logged in but still you can view the page that is about the public page which doesn't require an authentication so we have discussed custom authentication and custom authorization and also we have discussed the public page thank you we'll see you in the next session